So I'm out here again with my unicycle. This thing is hard. And I had been thinking I would get it after uh, I could get to 10 rotations. But when my friend told me that it's more like, um, you know, once you get to 30 rotations, then you can kind of take off from there and actually go places if you can get to 30 rotations. My goal is to try to ride this thing from our garage out to the end of our driveway. To ride it out to the end of the driveway and back before the first snow falls. And I was just realizing this evening that there will be frost before snow. And I don't want to be out here on frost and in the ice, so there might be less time than I originally thought. The time is now. This needs to happen. As I've been riding, I've also been realizing that where my eyes are, where I'm looking, significantly affects my unicycling. It's looking up, it's looking out. Also, if I'm thinking positive thoughts, about beautiful things, I'm more likely to stay on the unicycle than if I'm reviewing my discouragements and disappointments for the day. Sometimes I do better on camera than I do in real life. So, I've had a couple more unicycling thoughts this evening. I've noticed that when I'm riding, if I use my arms more and wave them about, I'm able to keep my balance a little bit better. <laughs> I need to put my whole self into it. I can't just put part of myself into this unicycle business. Sometimes even when you throw your whole self into it, <laughs> you still crash. <laughs> but you get right up and you keep going. I've seen other people do it, and there's no way that it has taken them as long to learn as it is taking me. It's such a human tendency to compare ourselves with others. But God says no to each a measure of faith has been given. Then some maybe naturally have more faith than others, but we can't tell who is who. And so some people who are out there on their spiritual tricycle may actually be walking more closely with God than some people who are out there on their spiritual unicycle on a tightrope 50 feet up. <laughs> that even if our faith is as small as a mustard seed, that's like the smallest seed, we've exercised it. If we've put it in God, it can move mountains. So I'm out here again and it's actually after 10 o'clock at night <laughs> because snow is actually on the forecast for the end of this week and my time is so short and so I've got to get this thing down but I'm realizing tonight as I'm wearing this bulky coat and it sure feels different at 10 o'clock at night than it does earlier in the evening or in the day as I was practicing last week. Well, I know how to unicycle, then I need to know how to unicycle in any situation. Otherwise, I don't really know how to unicycle. With God's help, we can get this. Just gotta keep at it. 